The traditional start to the golfing season. April, of course, means the Masters. And for 2016 champion Danny Willett, a chance to relive the greatest moment of his career so far. Just describe to us that moment on Sunday when you realised you could actually win the Masters. Um, yeah, it wasn't until kind of 15, 16. And then, yeah, out of nowhere, he's gone from, from five to one as we walked off 15 down to 16. And then it was kind of a... Well, a uh, realisation that it could happen and um, kept the thoughts and stuff pretty good and, and obviously came up with 16 with, uh, with a pretty nice golf shot there to line up a birdie to, to kind of then just keep moving forward, keep pressing. You know, we've been chasing all day trying to make birdies and, um, you know, me and Johnny made a, a bit of a path that we were going to stay aggressive regardless of what happened and, uh, and see what we, could, uh, what we could produce and, yeah, there you go. The first European winner for a generation, Willett almost had to miss the tournament due to the birth of his first child, but young Zach arrived early, allowing Dad to take his spot in the field and provided a welcome distraction from the first major of the season, according to his longtime coach. I think it did help him calm him down a little bit, you know, and there wasn't that build-up that they always get at the Masters. A lot of them arrive a little bit too early, and by the Thursday, they're, you know, they're, they're almost past what they really where they want to be and I've seen that quite a few players that they have actually got there too early and by Thursday they're almost burnt out. The 29 year old was a former amateur world number one now a Ryder Cup player did the win see him reassess his goals going forward. To win a major in your career is obviously fantastic and um, again I don't think you can really look too far forward and say yes or no or which events kind of fit better and this that the other you just got to like I said you just got to keep working hard and all I know now is that if it's my week it doesn't matter what the field is or, or where you are in the world, you can achieve it. So, you know, that's a massive confidence booster in that aspect. It's just, you know, ticking them boxes, keep working hard, keep everything in place and see what you can do. The confidence you get from even just winning a tournament is massive. So winning a major has got to be twice, you know, twice as good, really. And I think he will go on. Uh, it won't be a one-hit wonder. He'll actually progress because he works very, very hard. And when he returned to his native Yorkshire a week after his win, the scale of his achievement finally sunk in. You don't realise how few Europeans have actually won around there, um, which is surprising with how good the Europeans have been over the years. Until I actually did what I did, you don't, you don't quite realise the magnitude of it all. Um, you know, obviously the first English winner since, since Nick 20 years ago, um, only the third British winner after, you know, Woozy and Lyle as well. And, and then in terms of Europeans, I think I'm the seventh or eighth. You know, so you, you look at all the guys who have played and, and been in there and been in the tournaments, and it's, it's really amazing to think that, you know, my name's, you know, always going to be there now in the record books next to them guys.